without signs of neurologic disease. I hope they weren't tea baggers that donated their brains. If they weren't, there wouldn't be much well, to study. You would probably want them to be tea baggers because then they'd be dead and not troublemakers. Oh, sure. But we wouldn't learn much from them, would we? You don't learn. You're not going to learn much from them, dead or alive. Exactly. The tea bagger. Da 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 da. Hi -o. <laughs> they discovered that a certain gene in a specific part of the hippocampus. Hippocampus. <clears throat> bring your tent to the hippocampus. That's a part of the brain. It has nothing to do with hippopotamus. It was a jab. Or filehippo.com. I get my free software. Oh, I gotta love them. Old fashioned levity jingle bells. From Pagan Christmas. What the hell did I, uh, I downloaded something from File Hippo. From yeah. Pagan Christmas. File Hippopotamus? Yeah. Uh, maybe it was maybe that. Maybe it was Microsoft. No, it wasn't a shit. Was it that burning program that I told you that I've been no, using? No, no, no. <clears throat> the, they discovered that a, a certain gene. In a specific part of the hippocampus, the brain's memory center, quits working properly in older people. Got to pump those fatty acids, omega-3s in there, man. DHA, it DHA. It produces less of a key protein. That section of the brain, <coughs> called the dentate gyrus, is that a hoagie? I'm a little hungry. Don't, don't talk about good hoagies. Uh, you'll make me more hungry. I can go for a nice. Remember, what's it called? The big roast beef called sandwich. A hoagie, a hoagie in Pennsylvania. Is a, a. It's a sub in the rest of the country, and a gyro in New York. No, 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 no. Uh, Something uh, like that. Well, there's hoagie. There's hero. Uh, there's uh, Pennsylvania. They're called um, hoagies. How much no, I know? No, there's another word. There's hoagies. There's heroes. Um, submarine sandwich is another word, Sub, in but the rest there's of three, country. and there's another one, and I think it comes from Philly. Gyro. No, a gyro is that. No, Greek no, no, no. You in a no, pita no, bread, no, man. No, but it's it's also no, referred uh, to as um, sub. He's the gyro. Oh God, there's one more name for it, and it's kind of a funny name too. I'm laughing. Anyway, no. all right, go ahead, continue. The dentate gyrus has long been suspected of being especially vulnerable to aging. And it's a different neural neighborhood than where Alzheimer's begins to form. But there is a substantial circumstantial evidence that having la less of that protein, RBAP48, leads to memory loss in older adults. So, the researchers took a closer look at the mice, which become forgetful, and they lose their car keys. Not the mice. As they age. Sure enough, cutting levels of the protein made healthy young rodents lose their way in mazes and perform worse on other memory tasks. More intriguing, the memory loss was reversible. Boosting the protein made forgetful old mice as sharp as the youngsters again. The researchers reported in the journal Science Translational Medicine. It's the best evidence so far that age-related memory loss is not the same as early Alzheimer's. And since some people make it to 100, Without showing much of a cognitive slowdown, the work begs another question. Is that normal aging, or is it a deterioration that we are allowing to occur? As we want to live longer and stay engaged in a cognitively complex world, I think even mild age-related memory decline is meaningful. It opens up a whole avenue of investigation to now try to identify interventions. This is early stage research that will require years 
of additional work. For example, other researchers have found that connections between neurons in other parts of the brain weaken with normal aging, making it harder, but not impossible, to retrieve memories. In contrast, Alzheimer's kills neurons. How does Wednesday's research fit? Many pathways make up a smoothly functioning memory. And that protein plays a role in turning a short-term memory, like where you left the car keys, into a longer-term one. Some good news. Scientists already know that exercise makes the dendate gyrus, that age-targeted spot in the hippocampus, function better. Uh. And I also know that DHA, which is one part of omega-3 fatty acids, is DHA and EPA. Uh, uh, the uh, is a product called columarine, which is an omega-3 from squid, and it, it contains a predominant amount of DHA, which is the omega-3 that the brain needs. That really helps the brain and nourishes the brain. I recommend that. And they, exercise wouldn't hurt anybody. They are also looking to see whether nutrition plays a part. Uh, without a doubt, uh, lecithin sure can hurt. Sure helps the brain a lot. Lecithin, I know it's out of vogue right now. I took it last night with my nuts. <clears throat> you know, lecithin granules, if you can still, yeah, it's still available, it's out there. You know. It's right up there on me. Thing. You got to get a like get a high. Uh, um, I remember a company named Fern. I think it was phosphatidyl. Yes. Not, it had 97 percent phosphat phospholipids, phosphatidyl, choline, and acetol. 97 percent phosphatidyl. Said it has a nut-like flavor. It actually is pleasant. Less than granules. <clears throat> So what do we got? What time is it? One more. One more. <coughs> Concerning the fat boy? Yeah, why not? Because I know I know there's a, there's a, a gubernatorial election in the, in the works. So yeah, talk about the fat boy. Governor Christie enjoys a double-digit lead over Senator Barbara Bono. Doesn't surprise me since people are stupid today in America and they they have Christie looking like a hero not the sandwich even though he probably eats a ton of them they have him looking like a hero I don't know why because of his personality you know he's, he's obnoxious he's outgoing he, you know he's in your face and he even has support from many Democrats ah the old traitors I can't figure out why. The blue co the blue dog conservative traitorous Democrats siding with a Republican that wants to cut all social services. Christie is sitting on a fence with decisions regarding gun control, same sex marriage, etc. He that he tweaks to try to be acceptable. He doesn't like food pantries, that's for sure. To New Jersey voters while not offending the right wing of the Republican Party. <coughs> Excuse me, and spends as much time running around the country staying focused on the 2016 presidential election as he does his re election for governor here in New Jersey. You people in New Jersey that support Christie, you're idiots. I had somebody tell me. Oh, uh, I, I like his personality. He's got spunk. He's got spunk. He's got a, you know, they're for Christie because of his personality. What about what he represents? What about what he does? What he does? Barbara, I knew Barbara Buono was going to pussy out when it comes to this campaign. She's not getting, she's not getting out there Fraction. and screaming enough. And, and, and. 
She's not aggressive enough. You have to be super aggressive to go up against a Chris Christie. I knew it. With high unemployment, high taxes. She's too nice. She's got no lack of regard for what New Jersey residents want. If the Democrat Democrats could have a stronger candidate, <clears throat> I believe Christie would have been toast. Did I mention the rail tunnel project he quashed? The 400 million in race to the top we lost due to a clerical error and the rejection of the Affordable Care Act that would benefit many and save millions of dollars in health care costs. What Christie does not realize is that he has what some on the Republican side see as too many unacceptable positions, no matter. So no matter what he does, he will likely fall off the fence and go splat. Chris Christie is very good at doing one thing, giving away lots of taxpayers' money to his rich friends. If that happens, I do not look forward to a cranky Christie. You know, people are too worried about him being cranky and what he has to say and what he thinks. That, what, the best thing to do when you have a tumor that is a, is a little too fat, too far gone, is you cut it out, you remove it. Sometimes you gotta get in there and remove it. You know what I mean? Well, you can't worry about what he thinks. She's trying to remove it, but she's down. What Mitch McConnell thinks, what John Boehner thinks, what, what uh, that douchebag face uh, Cantor thinks. And Ryan and Paul. Ryan, they're all douchebag Randy faces. Randy Paul. Yeah. You know? Jerk off. They're worried These about what they Iron Rand led beasts, evil people. They're just evil people. That's all they are. Con counterfeit phony Christians. They're not I would even call them Christians, I would call them cultists. Yeah. You know, but she's behind because she's too soft. I knew for some reason she reminds me of Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi, she's probably a very nice lady. She's probably very smart. Barbara Buono is probably also very smart, and she seems like a very nice lady. But you can't be smart and nice and, and go up against a Republican in, in politics. You, you, you gotta be a very aggressive. You gotta hit him in the balls. You gotta hit him below the belt hard, and you have to expose him. But you gotta be out there, and you gotta, you can't be mild. You can't, like, you know, like people, other liberals, other progressives, Let's talk about douchebags. You hear this guy's uh, car alarm? Talk about progressives. I have progressives on Facebook tell me that myself and Dr. Bill over here, you know, we, uh, we go off the handle too much. Oh yeah, so that would really get the attention of people to calmly say, you know, Chris, Chris Christie, he's not such a bad guy. Mm. Oh, why can't we all just get along? Why can't we all just get along? You know, but I, I'm really against a lot of the things Chris Christie did, and I'll tell you, here's the list. He hasn't been very nice. Oh yeah, that's gonna really beat a Republican in the elections. And this is the approach that a Barbara Buono, unfortunately, is, is making. I used to call Nancy Pelosi, Nancy Pussy Pelosi, because she had just had no spunk. You know, or the Republicans are fla uh, screaming, flapping their jaw to the, to the U.S. media, and then they, they go and in interview a, a Nancy Pelosi when she was in, and she's all mild-mannered. You can't be meek and mild-mannered. Just like, uh, whatchamacallit, the head of the Senate, the Senate. Fowl's his name from Las Vegas, from uh, Nevada. Senate major Majority? Senate Majority Leader for the, the Democrats? I don't know. I know Bernie Sanders sure gets his point across. 
Senator Bernie Sanders, where's my shillelagh? I gotta salute Bernie Sanders of Vermont. The best, man. The best. What's his name? The, in, in, in Nevada? Reed, Harry. Harry Reed? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, why my, is he. Mild mannered man. Oh, that's really gonna. That's Worse re than Clark Kent. You know? Yeah, that's really going to win elections against the Republican is to be real mild mattered and uh, diplomatic and see Democrats are afraid of being labeled and disliked you know and they gotta well, that's be because they allow the, the Republicans to uh, <clears throat> take over the argument yes they allow them don't like to make call me names I don't care the truth mm. always follow the truth so let people call you names. Let people say you're a meanie. Mm -hmm. The truth, man. There's truth. You can't go wrong with the truth. You got to back it up and you got to prove it. But the truth is the way to live. You know. Don't worry about people labeling you. These Democrats are. I don't know. They're like a bunch of throwbacks to flower children or the hippies. You know. They. They. Oh. They, why can't we all just get along and love each other? Or, it's, or they they have the same problem. They they still got their hands out for the campaign contribution, and that's why they're mild mannered. Yeah, so they got the same problem as the Republicans. You got the fat cat. So two sides of the same coin. You have the yeah. fat cats, Republicans. Everybody's co-opted. And fat cats funding the both the Democrats and the Republicans. Yeah. So they owe favors. Yeah. They owe favors. That's, that's they certainly do not govern in no. line with we the people. No, we. The, why do you think I put that front cover on the newsletter censored uh, Facebook page of, of a, a burning constitution? You know where it says we the people? It's mm. on fire? Because that's what they're trying to do. They've to, done it already. To, They've to, done a damn good job. Constitution is null and void. That's why it's on fire. U.S. Patriot Act took care of that. Now the National uh, Defense Authorization Bill under Obama. <laughs> Where's your Fourth Amendment? And this is what I didn't, uh, you know, didn't get into it before with Occupy Wall Street. This is what happened. The whole thing was co-opted. The cops got pictures. The cops got this. The cops got that. They treated them as terrorists. They all have records. Their license plates are taken down. They're this, that, and the other thing. They are criminals and they didn't do anything. Except ex exercise their f First Amendment right. So that was the first act of fascism that went actually went on the Amer American media. First act? For, no, not the first yes. act. I mean the first televised nationwide mainstream media act is when you saw pictures of little college girls get pepper maced it was all the propaganda sometimes kicked from yeah. the cops and etc that you two were probably uh, spouting out here today right oh they had no message oh they were on not united oh they didn't have no speakers uh, this is all propaganda from the other side yeah. to make them nothing. Right, and and Bill and Billy. The problem was Billy fell for that flat tax thing. That's that's propaganda. That's, that's the propaganda. problem is that no matter how many people, millions of people you bring out into the street, yeah, it doesn't matter today because none of that will drive the Congress and etc to make the laws that they should in favor of we the people. All you have to do is be a good big corporation and walk in there with the money and put it in their hand. And you could have millions of people out in the street. It don't mean anything. Because people are lazy in America. They won't do their research to get to know the independent candidates and not vote two-party system. Americans are lazy. They don't Number boycott. One, they ain't going to hear the independent. They won't boycott. Okay. 
they're not going to be able to seek. And the only out. way they can get to know the independent, how can you seek out an independent in, in in Nevada? Oh, you mean like the Western states? Any state. Well, they're all like every anything that's not local. How can you seek it out? By going to the independence website and reading no, about reading about them. by changing the system. Well, the money's in politics, unfortunately. Yes. The money's in politics. Are you you finished with that? Read yes, it? I am. Okay. Before we leave, this is a product that we have been selling, or uh, from the uh, Mega Life Twenty One Progressive Internet Talk Radio Station. It is. Uh, it contains two of the most uh, time-proven ancient health tonics uh, liquid Panax ginseng extract red to be exact red Panax ginseng extract with royal jelly in mega doses we you, we have 30 liquid vials per box and as you can see it comes in this beautiful red and gold box from China two ancient tonics red Panax ginseng extract with royal jelly. That's right, the food of the queen bee. And uh, try it. For men and women alike, there is nothing, no tonic more potent than Panax red ginseng with royal jelly liquid extract. Okay, and just go to newslettersensor.com. At the top of the page, there's the link to the radio station. And you can listen to us, of course, Thursday through Sunday. And you can also buy a box of this. Um, and uh, everything's on the web. Just type in Mega Life 21. We're on YouTube. Uh, the Cyber Church of God has the uh, playlist for all the God projects. You can listen anytime you want. And you can hear it on Sundays also on the Pirate Radio Network. Anyway. The most important thing, the best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work, is to get, I know, I know Billy touched upon the subject, but the best way to be a part of our organization is to get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work, get newsletter censored. Now, all right, thank you for joining us for progressive discussion. We'll see you next week. Say so long to these people. Bye-bye.